This video is sponsored by Diecast Airplane Store. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review Norwegian's Boeing 737 MAX 8 by Gemini Jets. Starting with the mold, one of the flaws is the curve right above the cockpit windows, in which to be a smooth transition to the rest of the fuselage. The mold has two areas on top and one at the bottom, in which the holes are just a tiny bit too big, and also it's lacking one area at the bottom, just aft of the wings. Another thing the model lacks is the Wi-Fi dome on top. Everything else looks great. The colors are beautifully matched. This livery is based on a model concept Boeing released back in 2012 when Norwegian ordered the 737 MAX 8. If compared to the 737 MAX 8 Norwegian received, the wing that are painted incorrectly. Also, the tail paint and tail number is yet to be seen on any of their MAXs. Also, if you look carefully, the red paint kinda bleeds into the white paint right before the blue ring. The wings are beautifully placed into the mold. They are nicely detailed. The only flaw is that the winglets are too pointy, but besides that, everything else is perfect. The engines and pylons appear to be metal. One flaw is that the blades and exhaust are not the correct color, and also the chevrons are pointy when in reality, they are rounder. The landing gear appears to be metal, and the wheels appear to be rubber, and they are beautifully done. Only the main landing gear wheels roll. Overall, this model will be up to you to get. As of the day this video is posted, this is a fictional livery for Norwegian. Well, that concludes the review for Norwegian's Boeing 737 MAX 8 by Gemini Jets. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Please, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to have you guys back again soon.